Hello world. Hey, today I want to show you a real quick tip on how you can improve the quality of your source code using static code analysis tools. What static code analysis is, is basically scrubbing through parsing your code and looking for common patterns or anti-patterns in the code uh, so that it can give you some information and say, hey, you know, your code's too complex at this point. You might want to clean it up a little bit or, hey, this is a definite defect right here. You got to fix this. Um, sometimes these tools, because they're automatic, you know, they're going to give you stuff that you want and you're going to just going to ignore. Sometimes it's going to give you false positives. But a lot of times it gives you really good, good information that helps you improve your code or it can at least teach you a lot about how to be a better coder and how to get uh, cleaner code, code that's more maintainable uh, and that's less bug error prone, right? So I know you're very busy and I know that if you haven't seen these tools before, you're gonna wanna go get your hands on them yourself. So I'm gonna make this really quick and I'm not gonna dive into all these details and talk and talk and talk and talk. So let's get started. I'm gonna right click on my source branch in my project in Rational Application Developer. This is the out of the box software analyzer for RAD. And I haven't run it in this IDE yet. So uh, I'm gonna have to create a software analyzer configuration. Uh, I click on software analyzer right here, a new configuration. And in this one, I wanna analyze only this project. And then I go to the rules tab. And you can see that all these rules uh, that it's going to look for best practices or anti-patterns uh, in your code are classified into these different categories, right? So for example, I could go into Java 2 standard edition best practices and constructor, there's some rules for conditionals. Uh, avoid using if else statements for short conditions. Now you can see it's a green and this is saying, you know, usually when it finds this, you know, functionally your code's okay. This is just a clean code kind of thing, right? Um, it doesn't need to be so complex and, and visually disorient, distracting uh, for other developers or for even for yourself, maintaining your own code. So like, for example, let me just choose that one. Let me choose loops, initial uh, exceptions. Uh, take a look at my use, uh, my threads. And I'm gonna click apply and analyze. Now, it's gonna scrub through all my code. And in the end, it's going to give me a little breakdown here. Now, Rational's out-of-the-box analyzer, um, it doesn't give you a lot of information about sort of why. It, it gives you the practice. Always list specific checked exceptions in the throws clause, right? Um, okay, it's just a suggestion, uh, but let's take a look at what it's really talking about with this one. OK, so when I click on that, it takes me straight to that line of code. Ah, and we can see that I'm throwing. Oh, OK, so what it's saying is, yeah, you can catch a very generic exception, but you don't want to throw uh, a generic exception like exception. So let's let's click on this and look at the quick fix preview. OK, uh, over on the right. It says throws exception. And over on the left, it does not have a quick fix. It doesn't have a quick fix recommendation. So I wonder what's going to happen when I actually uh, run this quick fix. Let me try quick fix. Yeah, it wasn't able to automatically quick fix it. Uh, let me try something different. Because I, you know, some kind of, sometimes it just it can't figure it out, um, obviously. Um, this is a, let's check this one. Okay. Here's an if else statement that, that can be shortened. So when we look at the quick fix pre, well, let's just go straight to the quick fix so you can see that sometimes it actually does work, right? So see how it cleaned up that, that if else statement? It's exactly the same statement. I'm saying if label is not equal to null, then return the label. Otherwise, return the ID, okay? Um, but this says the same thing. If label is not equal to null, return the label. Otherwise, return the ID just in a kind of more abbreviated and cleaner form, right? Okay, so that is the out of the box analysis tool that comes with Rational. Again, you right click on your package, go to this pop-up menu software analyzer, and you run your software analyzer configuration. Now, the next tool is called Find Bugs. If I right click, I've already installed it. This is a free plugin you can download, put into your Eclipse-based IDE or into Rational Application Developer. Um, 
Once you get it in your IDE, you can right click on your source package or the uh, and or your source folder or particular packages, whatnot. And um, in the context menu, you find find bugs and you say click on here and say find bugs. It's going to run its analysis over all the source code. And when it's done, um, it's going to put those results into the find bugs perspective. So I'm going to go window, open perspective, other. And you can see there's a find, perspe find bugs perspective. And here we go. Over here on the left is the bug explorer. And this guy is telling me that it found three bugs in my code. I can click on one of those, double click. It'll take me straight to that line of code. Find bugs doesn't provide you with any kind of uh, quick fixes, but down here it does give you some information to help you understand why it's identifying this as a bug and kind of give you some clues as to, to what, what to do about it. Okay, so that's find bugs. Okay, next one. Uh, the next one is going to be... Oh, sorry, let me get on my... Get down into my source level, All right? PMD. And I can run check code on PMD. It scans through all my code. PMD is another plugin you can get for Eclipse uh, or any Eclipse-based um, IDE. Uh, you can find it online. And now I'm going to go to the... PM, uh, it automatically took me to the PMD perspective. And you can see that in all of my code here, it only really wanted to tell me about three things. Okay, so let me go to, to one in particular. Um, collapsible if statements. That's kind of the same thing that we just looked at. Now, you, it took me to the class when I double clicked this, but it didn't take me straight to this to the code. So this one I have to actually scroll down until I find the marker. There's the marker. Now, this is a similar situation. It's saying, uh, what? Collapsible if statements. I can go over here and I can right click and say, show details. And it'll give me more information. Sometimes two consecutive if statements can be consolidated by separating their conditions with a Boolean short circuit operator, right? I can also click to open this in a browser and this will take me to the public online repository of the best practices, the anti-patterns, the rules, and everything that this PMD uh, looks for, which also can provide you with some example code on how to, to optimize your code, etc. So very cool. Uh, let's see if we get any tips out of this one. These nested if statements could be combined. Okay. Then I want to set the UA form. There we go. Just a little code cleanup. Sometimes these things will find, I've already run these a lot and done a lot of cleanup work, so I don't have a bunch of reds or really high severity issues in there. But, you know, a lot of times when you got a lot of code to clean up, uh, coming fresh onto a new project where maybe you got some developers that are not uh, uh, as skilled or anything like that, you know, you can run this tool across the code and just do some general cleanup across everything. So anyway, if you haven't been using static code analysis tools, I really urge you to check them out. Find bugs, PMD, or the out-of-the-box uh, software analyzer and rational application developer.